Hi, I am Margareta Millian and today I'm going to talk about Google Scholar. So, what is Google Scholar? Well, in addition to its engine, Google also offers a special tool for searching scholarly literature, such as journal articles, books and theses, patents and more. Unlike the standard Google search, Google Scholar does not search the entire web, but material from, for example, academic publishers, professional societies, online repositories, universities, and other academic organizations. Another difference is that Google Scholar sorts by relevance rather than by popularity. It's worth noting that Google Scholar often is a good place to start a search, but that it should be used in conjunction with library databases providing more efficient and more sophisticated means to access information. The most effective way to search a Google Scholar and other search engines is by using the keywords that best describe your topic and placing quotation marks around phrases or titles to force the system to find words in the order you intended them to appear. Another useful tip is to include synonyms and alternative terms in your search. Note that Google Scholar will search for simple plurals automatically, but does not use truncation. To get the most out of Google Scholar, and many other search engines and databases for that matter, it's an advantage to know a little about Boolean search commands, also called Boolean operators. The name comes from the brilliant British mathematician George Boole, who lived long before there were computers. But nonetheless, it's the mathematical thinking of this man that forms the basis of today's digital world. Boolean search commands allow you to combine words and phrases into search queries that will result in more relevant material. The most common Boolean operators are AND, which is preset in most search engines, OR, and NOT, often symbolized by a minus sign. The AND operator limits your search, while the OR operator expands it. So, let's see how these various search strategies work in Google Scholar. You will find an entrance to Google Scholar on the library website. You can also simply Google it. Let's say you're interested in research on students' use of mobile phones, especially with regard to their choice of brand. Start building your query by simply typing the words mobile phone. It's your first keyword. You'll get over 2 million results. A quick tip before we begin to narrow down the number of results. Click on the gear icon settings that you access through the drop down arrow in the upper right hand portion of the screen after you've done a query. The Google Scholar settings page allows you to make various specifications, for example, concerning languages and results per page. Click Save to confirm your preferences. You can start to narrow down your search by putting quotation marks around your keyword and force a Google Scholar to find results with the exact phrase mobile phone. If you want to include a synonym or an alternative term, you can use the Boolean operator OR written in capital letters. To get more specific search results, you can also add some more keywords and phrases. Google Scholar, like most search engines, defaults to the AND operator. In other words, the space between the keywords represents the word AND, so you don't even need to type it. If you want to exclude something from your search, you can use a minus sign immediately before the word you want to exclude. In this case, I have chosen to exclude the brand Apple. 
But when a search begins to get complicated, as in this case, it's better to use the advanced search page, which offers several ways to focus your search. You can access it by clicking on the drop-down arrow at the right end of the search box. Here's what some of the options mean. Find articles with all the words. Here I have added the term preferences, so now this option will find articles where both terms are included, but not necessarily in the order I have entered them. With the exact phrase, we'll find articles with the words in the exact order I have entered them. This kind of search corresponds to the quotation marks we used in the basic search box. With at least one of the words, we'll find articles that contains one keyword or another or both. There is an invisible or between the words. Without the words, this option corresponds to a minus sign before a word in the basic search box. You can also select the options below to specify that you want articles by a specific author or articles published in a specific journal. Finally, you can ask Google Scholar to return articles published within a certain time period. To perform the search, click on the bottom search icon. These limitations result in a more manageable list. Another useful tip for searching Google Scholar can be to select authors on your list of results with hyperlinks to their profiles, where you can find out more about them and maybe get some more tips on relevant literature. Here I have chosen to click the link to an author's profile page where I will find links to other articles by this author. Now, some tips on how to interpret the results screen in Google Scholar. Normally, the results are sorted by relevance, not by date, to find newer articles. You have several options in the left sidebar. One, Click Since Year to show only recently published documents sorted by relevance. 2. Click Sort by Date to show just the new editions sorted by date. 3. Click the envelope icon to have new results periodically delivered by email. You will probably get a long list of results while searching Google Scholar, but everything will not be freely available. You can locate the full text of an article by clicking your library link to the right of the search result or a link labeled PDF with embraces. If you're working from home, use your student or university login to access databases via your library links. Under search results are links. Here's what they mean. Cited by will show you a list of works that cite your original document. This feature is very useful when searching for more recent material, as well as for tracing an idea from its original source up to the present. Related articles will direct you to similar articles. All versions opens all different versions of an article, for example preprints and conference papers. Web of Science is an online subscription-based scientific citation indexing service. The link shows the number of citations of the original document by authors published in journals that are indexed in Web of Science. Cite provides referencing help for the MLA, APA and Chicago styles. Always check the references with the library's referencing style guides on the library web. From site, you can also use one of the links to import into a bibliography manager. Save allows you to save an article for later reading or citation. For more search tips and information, click and explore about a good scholar at the bottom of the page. Keep in mind 
Google Scholar is very useful as a jumping off point for your research, but to do in depth research, a subject specific database provided by your library will be a better choice. Good luck with your research. If you have any questions, please ask a librarian.